All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call him La Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And a Shalom to you, Anki, I'm out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. <clears throat> Shalom to the elect, the 144,000. Okay. And um, speaking of the elect, you know, this is this uh, video, this epistle is going to be, you know, talking about the elect. You know, and I wanted to title this lesson, um, Sealed Unto the Day of Redemption. You know, because uh, the elect, you know, they've been um, uh, chosen before the foundation of the earth, you know, and um, the book of Ephesians, you know, it really goes to show on how, you know, special the Lord's elect truly is, you know, and how, you know, uh, the grace of Yahweh Shai is really important, you know, Yahweh Shai going up on that cross and dying for us, you know, for our sins, that's really important. That is not a light thing, you know, and for dudes, out here within the community of Israel, you know, just saying that you could be saved by the law. Hey, man, that's BS. Okay, because the scriptures clearly say, Galatians, the second chapter, it clearly says that you, that a man cannot be justified by the law, but by the faith in the Havashai Mashiach. Okay, so the law can't save you, but having, you know, faith in Havashai because we're under grace. It says, for by grace are you saved through faith. So that faith that we have in Yahweh Bashmar Shai, that's what's going to get us, you know, um, salvation, deliverance. Okay, not ha not, not having faith in a, uh, the uh, carnality of the law. Okay, so without further ado, you know, I'm going to get you know, a couple of precepts and Lord's will. This uh, lesson is edifying to the Lord's sheep. Okay, so starting off. Gonna get a uh, Ephesians, <clears throat> Ephesians chapter. Where is it at? Ephesians chapter four, and verse thirty. And it says, um, so "I'll start twenty nine, Ephesians four and verse twenty nine. It says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth.'" Right, you know, no, you know, and that corrupt communication is going in about, you know, other, you know, false doctrines, other doctrines that we weren't taught here at Great Millstone, you know, doctrines that we that wasn't taught by the apostles and the elders of GMS, you know, you know, anything outside of that, you know, is 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 off, okay, and like I said earlier, you have a lot of you know leaders within the community of Israel that tend to have a corrupt communication. Proceed out of their mouths, okay? And it says, back in Ephesians 4 and 29, but that which is good to the use of edifying, right, of edifying, you know, you know, edifying the uh, the body, the church, you know, the uh, the brothers and few sisters that are tuning in, listening to the, uh, the, uh, the lessons, you know, teaching, you know? And it says, and uh, in, in, in teaching the right thing, you know, you know, uh, dividing the word of truth, you know, teaching the right thing to Yahweh Shai sheep, you know, and not, you know, making them go off and, you know, um, putting stumbling blocks in front of them. OK, and it says, but that which is good to the use of edifying, right, that it may minister grace unto the hearers, you know, and, and that's what we push, you know, you know, we, we push Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai. Gave us the grace, you know, we are under, the, you know, the uh, the grace that was, you know, was made able for us to be under by the passing of Yahweh Shai, you know, when he had to go up on that cross, you see. And instead of us, you know, just pushing the law on our people, you know, upon Jake, you know, and because and the law can be burdensome, you know, we're in captivity, you know, you can't follow the law to the best of your ability, you know, we, we, we. We got to, uh, uh, you know, sometimes sneak to do lessons, you know, you squeeze one in, you know, because we're serving, you know, Esau, man. We you know, we're, 
in Egypt all over again, 2.0, you know, and just like, you know, um, Moses told Pharaoh, let my people go. So why is that? So that way we could serve our Lord, you know, right now we can serve you. How about Shema Shai, you know, to the fullest. So that's why the Lord is going to have to come to deliver us and bring us back in our own land. So that way we can, you know, serve him forever, you know, and, 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 and how we were meant to serve our, our, you know, our God, uh, Shai. that's how it's supposed to be because we're his woman. Okay. We're supposed to be with our, you know, um, our Lord, our man, so to speak, you know, you know, in uh, the elect, the hopeful elect, we are the, uh, the, uh, the bride and the house is what the bride's groom, right? And it says, verse 30, here's the point. And it says, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of the most high. Whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Now let's get that in the NOT. Now, mind you, this lesson is titled Sealed Unto the Day of Redemption. I just read the verse. Okay, Ephesians 4 and 30 in the NOT it says, And do not bring sorrow to the Most High's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, he has identified you as his own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. Okay. So the elect, you know, they're very, very, very special spirits, man. Okay. You know, and the, and, and it says the book of John, the 10th chapter, it says that the Lord is, you know, is never going to pluck them out of his hand. You know, the Lord has a cluster unto himself that he will be, uh, that he will keep. You know, going in, uh, what's that pertains to the book of uh, Second Edges, I believe the eighth chapter, when it goes into, let me get it real quick, okay. And actually, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to Ephesians, but I'm gonna hold that and get this real quick precept in Edges. All right, it's the book of Second Edges, chapter eight, and maybe he's chap. Let me see, maybe he's uh. Let me type it in real quick. Oh, excuse me. It was second address nine. Salakia. Uh second address nine. And um I get to the point in verse 21, and it says, And I saw and spirited greatly, and I have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. Let me see. That was the Yep. That's it right there. Y'all read it again. Second Andrews 9 and verse 21. And it says, And I saw and spirited greatly, and I've kept me a grape of the cluster, right? You know, the elect. Okay. Is the Lord's gonna keep, you know, those uh those men that's near and dear to him to himself. Okay, because they've been, you know, preordained before the foundation of the earth, and which I'll get that as well. Cause I mentioned that earlier, you know, I mentioned it again, so might as well get it, right? All right, and it says, and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. Okay, so let's thank that real quick. All right, Ephesians 1 and verse uh, 4, and it says, according as he have chosen us and him before the foundation of the world. Right? So the Lord has chosen the elect before the foundation of the earth. You see, that we should be holy and without blame, having him in love. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahushua Mashiach to himself, according to his, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he have made, wherein he have made us accepted in the beloved. Okay, but the point I wanted to touch on it says, you know, uh, chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. You know, you know, predestination. Okay, now we go into that word predestinated in Ephesians 1 to 5. Okay, the word there. Oh, excuse me, let me see if it said it. Well, he's not, I don't think he's, oh, it's lucky he's not saying it. So the word there for predestination, it says, uh, por, uh, porizo. Or pro or poor diesel. Okay. 
And uh, the, the meaning says to foreordain, to appoint beforehand, okay, um, decide beforehand to predetermine, okay? So the Lord has always had his men set up before the foundation of the earth so that way they can be, you know, sealed until the day of redemption, okay? Now, back in 2nd Andrews 9 and verse 21, and it says, And I've kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people, verse 22. And it says, let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, right? The, the, the people out here, you know, the two thirds of our people, the heathen. Now, of course, two thirds of our people, you know, they're going to come back right in the kingdom, you see, th through the elect. But on this side, they got to be judged because they're not right. You know, they got, you know, they, they, they got to be a, a reset, if you will. Okay. And it says, and let my grape be kept in my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect, right? The elect, you know, the elect are being made perfect. You know, the elect are being, you know, a, a refined, tried, a tried, you know, and 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 uh refined. Okay, the elect are being, you know, built up, going through that that baptism, that furnace of adversity to be, you know, uh, made more precious than fine gold. Okay, now back in Ephesians chapter. Chapter 4 and verse uh, 30, and I'll read that in the NLT one more time. And it says, and do not bring sorrow to the most highest Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, he has identified you as own, excuse me, you as his own, guaranteeing, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. You see, so the elect, you know, they're, they, you know, they have guaranteed as a deliverance, as salvation. Okay. Now, real quick, I got that. Now, let's get this. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 13. Okay. Now, I'm going to read this in the uh, NLT as well. This is Ephesians 1 and 13, the NLT. And it says, and now you Gentiles have also heard the truth. Right. And the Gentiles talking about us. Because we were Gentiles, you know, we were one of strangers, you know, because we, you know, were calling ourselves black, African-Americans, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Mexican, you name it, Dominican, Haitian. But now we know who we are. OK, you know, we got our, our pair of minds stirred up by way of remembrance, you see. So we so we were once those Gentiles, you know, following the ways of the heathen, you know, and uh, celebrating heathen pagan holidays and you know, partaking in heathen customs. But now we know we've been, you know, made conscious and been made uh, awoken through the Holy Spirit. You see, through Yahweh Shemal Shai, Basharim Kakwadash. So now, you know, we're, we're um, standing upon our feet and our breath of life has entered into us, as it says in the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. Okay. And it says, and now you Gentiles have also heard the truth, the good news the Most High saves you. And when you believe in Yahweh Mashiach, he identified you as his own, right? It said, that's heavy. It says, and when you believe in Yahweh Mashiach, he identified you as his own, you see? So right there, that, that just goes to show how special the Lord's elect truly is, you know? So us believing in, so us believing in Yahweh Bahashim Shai. Right here, it says that, you know, us, us believing, you know, in, in our Lord, the Lord identifies us as his own. OK, the elect and have a shy man, they're linked, you know, because uh, the elect, the elect were with you, have shy, you know, uh, before the earth was even created, you know, going back to the uh, book of Genesis, you know, when it says, uh, 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 God, you know, that goes into, you know, um, the, uh, Alahayim, which means the powers, you know, the elect in Yahweh Shai, hey, they, they were, uh, were there since the beginning together, you know, so they're linked. Okay. So, so, so it only makes sense why, you know, fast forward to now in these times we're living in, why there would be a certain, um, 
a, a, a special group of, of men that will, you know, fully come into this truth and, and fully give themselves to Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, so that way, like you just said, Yahweh Shai identifies them as his own, you see? And it says, and when you believe, and when you believe in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit whom he promised long ago, okay? Whom he, whom he promised long ago. Okay, now real quickly, now let's read that in the KJV, okay? This is Ephesians 1 and verse 13, the KJV, and it says, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, you see? In whose, in whose truth? Yahweh Shai. My sheep hear my voice, right? It says, The gospel of your salvation, okay? In whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with, the, with that, Holy Spirit of promise, you see? So the elect are sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise. You know, meaning what? Meaning that the elect, they're going to wholeheartedly believe in the truth. Nothing can move them, you know, to, to make them think otherwise, you know, about this truth. You know, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're meant to understand the truth. They're meant to get it. Okay, and to prove that real quickly, let me get... Uh, I believe it's 2 Timothy. Um, 2 Timothy 3 and verse uh, fi uh, 15. And it says, now I'm going to read this in the KJV, then I read it in the NLT. And it says, and that from a child that has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto, unto salvation through faith, which is in Yahweh Shad Mashiach, right? And LT it says, you have been taught the Holy Scriptures from childhood, and they have given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes by trusting in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay, so, so the elect, they've already had this, you know, this knowledge, you know, it just had to be, uh, 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 you know, that light just had to be uh, uh, ignited inside them. You see, that's why I mentioned uh, the precept earlier. Um, second Peter three, one, it says, uh, stir up your pure, your, your pure minds by way of remembrance, because the elect, they always knew this. It was just a matter of, you know, um, getting woken up and, and, and hearing the word, you know, and once they heard the word, they believed, you know, just like a quick testimony, you know, when I heard this truth, you know, I, I you know, I, you know, met brothers face to face, you know, and. They put me on. They said, "Hey, Bad Mom's gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles." The name of the Lord is, uh, the, the, excuse me, the true name of the Lord is, is Yahweh Bashma Shai. And then when I heard that information that the brothers told me, it clicked like that, you know, and it, it just made a hundred percent. It just made sense, you know. It just made complete sense to me, you know. So when I heard that, you know, I got you know woken up. I got rendered active. You know, so the elect, you know, they have already been uh, pre-chosen, if you will, to uh, come into the fold of this truth and to receive the 100 percent truth and to ultimately just, you know, to be sealed with the, with the Holy Spirit of promise. OK, that, you know, that was guaranteed unto them. OK, and uh, real quickly, I, I keep mentioning it. Uh, second Peter three, one, and it says this second epistle to be loved. I now write unto you, and in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Okay? And, uh, you know, our pure minds is what? Knowing who we are as, as a people, as a nation. You know, us being Israelites. You know, knowing that we're in captivity. Knowing who our enemy is. Knowing, you know, uh, uh, our power source, who is Yahweh Bashem al Shai. You see, knowing about the prophecies. Knowing about the things that's about to come upon this earth. Okay? Now, we go into that word pure, okay? The word pure, it means um, pure or, or sincere. It says, um, test it as genuine, okay? Let's go into the root word, actually. Let's see. Actually, now let's, uh, so it means sincere. So let's go to stir up. Or stir. The word stir says 
to wake up from sleep, okay, and weren't we spiritually dead? You know, Ephesians 2 says that we were uh, Gentiles, you know, and the uh, um, Gentiles um, and the flesh walking, you know, in, uh, in the past, okay, loosely paraphrasing it, it says that you were once Gentiles walking in the, you know, in the flesh, you know, back in the past, you know, because that was the older man. Now we, now we came to the truth and we have put on, you know, uh, uh, that, that new man and became the creatures in Yahweh okay? So, uh, so our, our pure minds, you know, our sincere minds were stirred up, you know, we know were uh, um, roused up and we have been woken up from sleep, okay? So I got that. Now let's get uh, uh, this real quick. This is um, Ezekiel. Chapter 9 and verse 4, and it says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done the midst thereof. Okay, and then those men, it's talking about the Israelite men, the elect, okay, that are here in captivity going through it, and that are vexed, but they feel the conversation of the wicked. And are praying to the Lord and sign a crown to the Lord for this judgment to, uh, excuse me, for this, um, for Babylon to be judged, you know, and, you know, and for them to be delivered. Okay. Now, now that word Mark in this particular verse, the, the Hebrew word for Mark, it says the Y, which means to be exempt from judgment. Okay. And being that the elect were preordained beforehand to get the, to, to, you know, to be delivered, to get the Holy the uh spirit, the Holy Spirit of promise, you know, to you know to be sealed until until the day of redemption, you know, these men are already exempt, okay, and they have that mark in the, and they have that spiritual mark on their foreheads, okay, to uh, uh indicate that they're, you know, um, that they're uh, um exempt from judgment, going in like we read earlier, in second in second edges nine twenty one. It says that the Lord has kept the, uh, a cluster, you know, uh, basically, you know, for himself, that he's going to preserve, that he's going to deliver. OK, so right now you have men, you know, that have that spiritual mark, you know, of exemption to be delivered in a day of destruction. OK, and real quickly, since I mentioned about the mark, the spiritual mark, let's head to Revelation chapter uh, 14 and verse uh Let's see, I may start from the top. Revelation 14 and verse 1, and it says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. You see, you know, that mark of exemption. You know, just like the mark that was spoken about in Ezekiel 94. This is the same mark right here that's written in their foreheads. You know, it says, having the father's name. And their foreheads, okay? And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as a voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpings harping with, the, with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand, right? The elect and that new song is what this gospel that's being pushed Across the four winds of the earth, okay. Now, proves that we at the end because the, um, Yahweh Shai said that um, then shall this gospel be uh, of the kingdom be preached in all the world, and then shall the end come. And right now, we are clearly witnessing the end of an Edomite era, okay. And it says, and that, and no man can learn that song, but but, okay, but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth, meaning what? Deliverance, okay? And earlier it says that the elect are sealed unto the day of redemption. So the elect, you know, they're already good, okay? The elect are already, they're the good, man, okay? Because if you're of the elect, you're going to get delivered. If you're not, then you're, you're not going to get delivered. That's simple as that, man, okay? That's why we say hopeful elect, because we hope to be delivered, okay. And the word hope it, it it means to it means to expect, and what's that? That's our faith that we have.
because we we are hopeful. We are expecting to be delivered. That's that faith ultimately. OK, verse four. And it says, these are they which which were not defiled with women for they are virgins. OK, and, that, and that's what I'm talking about. Actually having sex with a woman. OK, you're not going on having sex with a woman. OK, now that's talking about, you know, other doctrines being being defiled by other you know, uh, um, teachings that's not true. Okay, teachings that wasn't, you know, taught to us by our apostles and others of Great Millstone. Okay, anything aside of that, okay, you know, a hey, that's not that's not what we're doing here. Okay, we are um, coming into other men's rest and falling under their tutelage, so we have to continue to, you know, um, stay under the same umbrella. You know, and and, and continue to teach and, and continue to teach what was taught and still is being taught. OK. And it says for they are virgins. Right. Meaning that they're not going to go to other any, you know, doctrine. They're going to stay under the teachings of Yahweh Shema Shai through the elder apostles of Great Millstone. You see, and it says uh, these are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. The, these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high and to the lamb. You see, so the first fruits, you know, the first fruits, you know, you know, of Yah, of Yah, you know, because, you know, say, you know, you pick some strawberries, if you will, you know, you go to a strawberry farm, if you will, you know, and you see strawberries, you know, and, and you get the ones that you want and the ones that you don't want, you leave them. So the Lord has, you know, chosen a certain amount of special spirits for himself to, to be his first fruits, you know, uh, uh, of, of deliverance. OK. And it says, and in their mouth was found no guile for they are without fault before the throne of the most high. You see, meaning what? They're perfect. You know, they have no blemishes, you know. So they're going to be. You know, uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're going to be, um, you know, exalted, magnified, because right now the Lord's elect, you know, you know, they're despised on this side. You know, they're they're not looked at as the strongest, you know, you know, or the quickest, the best. Right now we are living in the true underdog story. But soon people are going to know who are the Lord's chosen. You see. So, yeah, you know, I want to do that quick lesson. You know, about the elect, because the elect are very special until Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You know? So, Lord, as well, you edify through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Bashim al Kakwadash, and I just want to say, call Lame La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakwadash, double honor being to the elder apostles, great millstone that do rule and teach well. Okay? And so I want to tell you, Anki, out there, that's pushed this truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name. Of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kadosh. All right, and shalom to the elect, the hundred and forty-four thousand, and Lord, as well, you edified. With that being said, shalom.